this this video covers the storyline quest Scorpion Marks the Spot, Blood Trail, Onward to Santa Polo, Who is the Masked Bull, Triple Times, and The Mark of Toro. Alright. Alright, and we are back. Uh, we gotta talk to Mary Wither Clark. And good old Cooper Roost. Here he is over here. I've lived a quiet life for 20 years, and I'm attacked by outlaws and bison in the same day. It's Marco Polio's map you're looking for, isn't it? That map was my father's dearest possession. I swore to him that I would keep it secret. You're not the first who's asked for it, you know. But you are the first who saved my life. Marco Polio's map is in the cave under Scorpion Rock in Big Sky Country. Alright, I'll head right over there and just going to use the stagecoach as always. Here we go. Oh, we let a horse get in the way, are we? Straight to Bison Village. speed boost I'm going to go ahead and use it name this place for its looks. The whole cave is crawling with scorpions. Watch your step. We're gonna have to get past these anyway, so shoot, why don't we just kill them here? Alright. What can I eat them with? when it would have been nice for you to get my scatter blast but then of course I didn't so it's whatever I hit him with one of these and use bunny in right there and hit the agility buff and press down all right I get an epic all right Intel pops her agility buff and here they come Jeez, they almost finished off Bonnie Ann. See what I can hit them with. Bonnie Ann better not die though. Can I hit three at the same time? Alright, that's what I'm talking about. Can I even hit two at the same time? Nah. Alright, that's not good. Hit over here. And we'll hit over here. I'm gonna at least kill one person, probably two. I say Scorpion, because I'm not killing people. Burst fire. Burst fire. Burst fire. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. 
Get wrecked, Scorpion. <laughs> Wind June's after you. Yeah, I think Bonnie's dead. She dodges a couple. Oh, she dodges. Oh, nice repost. Yeah, good old Zoe dodges again. Come on, finish him off. There we go. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can kill them this turn. That didn't look like it. I'll get a nice little epic strike on him over here. Shoot over here, shoot over here, and shoot over here. Alright, let's do this. Come on, kill. Alright, that's one down. Ah! Dodges. Watch him kill. No! Not my bunny. Darn it. Hate you, Scorpion. Alright, Flankin finishes them off. Good old Zoe. Alright, I gotta defeat a couple more. I'm just gonna go ahead and wake Bonnie up because honestly, she's the best companion. She's totally worth it. What, no. yes. <sighs> Quite a bit of help missing, though. Kinda stinks. There's some scorpions among these people, so I'm sure this is the best bet. So do it quickly, you know? To skip all the scorpions at the entrance and just fight these guys. <laughs> Kings I'll give a bonus to those people who are smart enough to figure this out. Gonna bomb here for best critical chance. You saw 13% as opposed to 4%. Obviously a better choice. Uh, let's just press done. And we don't critical, but oh well, it's whatever. Go ahead and move Chantel up so she'll be overwatching them. And we can hit four over here. How many can we hit over here? Let's see. We can hit three. Yeah, let's see if we can hit four with this thing over here. We can hit three as well. Yeah, I think we good. Ouchies. Love those AoE attacks. Overwatch. Double tap. Earth spider. Alright. No, not the poison. Gonna do quite a decent amount of damage for about five turns. I think Bonnie is gonna die for this battle too. But dang is she on fire right now. Full burst fire chains. Stop hitting my Bonnie. Alright, I can hit a total of four next turn with my area attack, and that's exactly... Never mind, I'm just going to be able to hit three. Thanks, though. Thanks. Thanks a lot, man. It was always making my life easier. There we go. Burst Fire and actually gets off some criticals. That's the stuff I'm talking about. Kills two. Bonnie Ann, the boss, kills two. Chantel, come on, finish him off. And Jin comes up with a maker right there. And he blade storms onto her again. Oh, not the super. 
if they attack Bonnie, I swear. <laughs> Mine. Zo again. Zo, you the bay, you the boss. Use their dodge. Super strike. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, I love that attack. It looks so dang cool. Alright, there we go. GD Scorpion. Unfortunately, nothing good really drops here except like a ton of gold. Yeah, kind of stinks. Alright, Marco Polo's map somewhere around here. And there's a good chance we'll have to fight this person twice, but... Hold on. I think there's like a quest trigger here. This is where it gets glitched out, I think. Darn it. <laughs> the fighter again. Okay, well, we gotta do. I'm gonna burn this, burn this, and we're gonna put this here. I'm gonna move Bonnie up right here. And move Swinchin right there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the buff. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Give us some chains, please. No chains. Darn it, you let me down, Bonnie. Alright, what we got? And this over here. Let's hit with a nice AoE. Another AoE. We can get three. Hit over here. And we'll hit over here, just, you know, because. Come on, keep them chains coming, Shanto. First fight, man. Oh dang, a super. Oh jeez. You shouldn't be too happy. First fire. Relentless. Oh yeah. Alright, two down. Two more to go. And we get a burst fire from Chantel. And we get a burst fire from my pirate. And we get first power from Bonnie. And she chains off that one. Aw oh, man, she dodges. That's more like it. <laughs> uh, pet for the kill once again. Good old so <laughs> resisted. There we go. Treasure, I do not know. 
Clark may know. Go ask him at once. Well, we don't want to get into another fight with the scorpion because it has a bad habit of spawning in afterwards. It's a glitch. Okay. Clark, I think, in Cooper's Roost. Yeah, it's Cooper's Roost. We have a mark there. Thank goodness. <laughs> I thought of doing that. I'm gonna go to mark my spot. All right, here we go. Stolen! I can't believe it. My father buried the map in the first place to keep it away from Captain Blood. You gotta get that map back, no matter the cost. Sadly, I don't know very much about Captain Blood. He was an infamous pirate, but they say he died when I was a boy. Blood had a hidden lair somewhere in Cool Ranch, and I don't believe it was ever found. It stands to reason that the map should still be there. Go talk to Sheriff Cogburn at the jail. He's kept the law in Cooper's Roost for 40 years and may know more about Captain Blood. Wow, for 40 years. That's a long time. How goes the hunt for Captain Blood's lair? Uh, I still think him. Sheriff Cogburn is the best place to start. I accidentally click on people every once in a while they repeat their dialogue. Yeah, sorry about that. Sack Cooper's roost twice. Wow. How am I supposed to know where his hideout is? You think if I'd found Captain Blood's treasure, I'd be here talking to whippersnappers like you? Can't help you. You want to talk to Wild Bill over at the Silver Spur. He knows the ins and outs of Cool Ranch better than anyone. I tell you, partner, those pesky buff. I need me a ruthless buckaroo to spoof them buffaloons away. You think you can get the job done? Yeah, we're not going to do that. That's a side quest. And by the way, if you really want to get Rooster Cogborn, there's like a... Let's see. I tell you, partner, the... I need me a ruthless buckaroo to spoof them buffaloons away. You think you okay, can get we don't the have job it yet. done? Yeah, we don't have it yet. But there's like a quest you can do, like a series of quests. Um... Oh, interesting. Another person walks in. It's like a series of quests you can do where you can get him as a companion. He's not that great at the moment, so I don't even bother doing the quest. Yeah. Like, if they, if they make him good for PvP, I'm going to go back and do it, of course, but I'm not going to. This time. Alright, here we go. Captain Blood. Now there's a name. Years after his death, he still casts a long shadow. I've spent my youth looking for Captain Blood's hidden lair, and sadly, I never found it. Well, there's hundreds of legends about Captain Blood. The historian, Argleston, I reckon he's heard them all. He's right over there. Argleston from Wizard One. Oh my goodness, they have an Armada companion. I oh, no good gear though, I'm surprised. I just gotta see if I can say hi to them. Did they friend me? Did they? Oh, sweet. Their companion really is cool. It's very exclusive, so I had to stop and say hi. Yeah, he's from us as well. What can I do for you? Captain Blood, you say? Captain Barnabas Blood is one of the most infamous pirates in history. I have his picture here. Some say Blood was so evil, death wouldn't claim him. He stole all the gold Marco Pollo brought back from El Dorado and hid it here in Cool Ranch. I have no idea where Captain Blood's secret lair might be. The confounded thing's a secret. <laughs> I can think of only one person who might know. The surest method of finding Captain Blood's lair is to find the legendary masked hero who defeated Captain Blood, El Toro. Not an easy man to find. El Toro is the protector of Santa Poyo Village. It so happens I've been corresponding with Dr. Diaz, a scientist who lives in Santa Poyo. I'll give you papers that will get you into Santa Poyo Skyway. 
Would you be so good as to deliver this letter to Diaz for me? Alright, sure, no problem, Mr. Desmond Argleston. You got it. We got a sail there, of course. We can't just go on the, the whatchamacallit thing. I forgot what it's called. That place to the guy, you know, the buffaloon place. I'll show ya. Stagecoach, that's right. I can't just go on the stagecoach because this is the first time, so I'm just going to have to sail right over there. <coughs> oh boy, just sneezed. <clears throat> yeah, we can't go over here on this guy. Never been there before ever on this pirate. use that speed boost. I don't have much of it left, but I might as well use it since we have it. Alright, we out. We got a new badge for um <laughs> for exploring Santa Polo Skyway. Pretty sweet. Alright, and I gotta pause. Alright, and I'm back. I had to take care of some stuff. Talk to Professor Diaz in St. Apollo Docks. 
Hmm. I'll probably edit out that long wait. Sorry about that. It happens quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. If you watched any of my previous episodes, you're a little more used to it, probably. Unless, of course, I edited out those ones well enough. Avoid a ship fight over here. See, see if we can steer clear of all ship fights. Nope. Never mind. We already failed. I hate going through through here without any speed boost. Kind of sinks. All right, now we're at Santa Polo Dock. I'm going to buy some speed boost so I don't forget later on. All right, we're back up to 132 speed boosts, and Air Professor Diaz is over there. Good day, traveler. Ah, I see you bring letters from Dr. Argoston. Very good. So. What brings you to our humble village? You seek El Toro? Enemy of all oppressors? Defender of the innocent? El Toro is as mysterious as he is cunning. Whose face is behind the mask? It could be you. It could be me. No one can say. So I cannot tell you where or how to find El Toro. But there is one who might help. Talk to Friar Cluck at the church. Alright, so Friar Cluck's your next guy. Friar Cluck, like Friar Tuck and like Robin Hood. <laughs> See a similarity there? Kind of clever. Greetings, my child, and peace be with you. You seek El Toro? Oh, if only you had been here yesterday. Banditos attacked Santa Pollo last night, and El Toro drove them away. El Toro was more than a man. From the time of my grandfather, the humble village of Santa Pollo has had a protector. Banditos and corrupt governors, thieves and brigands, even the dread pirate Captain Blood, all have learned to fear the sword of El Toro. Cunning as a fox, silent as the snake. Strong as the bull whose name he bears, El Toro has never been beaten and never wavered in his mission. He moves like a shadow at midnight. He strikes without warning, fights with the strength of ten men, and then vanishes like the wind. El Toro's greatest weapon, mystery. He could be anyone. He could be anywhere. No one knows what lies beneath El Toro's mask. How can you fight what you cannot see? Sadly, Santo Pollo still needs El Toro. Santo Rana's endless taxes sap the strength of our people. The banditos run riots in our streets, or the Fragorales do nothing. I fear a storm is coming, and even El Toro will be hard pressed to endure it. And so you see, Traveler, it is no ordinary man you seek. I do not know how to find El Toro, but there is one man who can help you. Talk to Don Rodrigo, whose via overlooks Santa Pollo. He has helped El Toro many times and knows him better than anyone. Hi, so Don Rodrigo, who bears a... Striking resemblance, but um, is obviously not El Toro. <laughs> All right, there he is. Probably a friend of his. I welcome you to my house, traveler. Are you the newcomer I hear talk of, the one looking for El Toro? You seek El Toro. I am flattered that some associate me with such a powerful and cunning man. <laughs> I am but a humble landowner. I know little of you. 
I can contact El Toro. But I must warn you, he may not reply. El Toro has many enemies who would lure him to his doom with false cries for help. If you want to win El Toro's trust, help the people of Santa Boyo as he does. Go speak to Estella Castillo. She is a pillar of the village. I wish you luck, Trapper. I will say this. Times are so troubled. El Toro cannot be far away. All right, so it's time to talk to Estella Castillo. She's a pillar, but she's also a horse. <laughs> All right. Have you come to help us? This is a blessing indeed. The banditos hurt us so much. It is hard to even begin picking up the pieces. The banditos. They struck in the night without warning. All night they rampaged, smashing things and beating any who dared to fight back. El Toro drove most of them away. But I fear some of the villains may still be hiding in Santa Paul. We're even afraid to set foot inside the church. Can you go in and make sure it's safe? If it is, tell Friar Cliff. Look at this place. The banditos are gone, but the chapel looks like a typhoon hit it. And there, cut into that flag, the huge letter T. It must be the mark of El Toro. A great letter T. That is the mark of El Toro. He must have dealt with those vile banditos. We will start cleaning up the church at once. But there is so much more to put right. Could you talk to my good friend, Hector? His need is dire. Alright, we're talking to Hector here. What's this guy? I sugar, my precious sugar! The monsters have taken it all! What am I to do? Don Gutierrez's lovely daughter is to be married tomorrow, but the banditos have destroyed my bakery and stolen all my sugar! How can I bake the cake? How will I endure the shame of it? You, you can get my sugar back! Hunt down bandito chips, bring me back my sugar, and strike a blow for the people of Santo Boyo! I realized my mic was mute there. <laughs> All I basically said is, I might have to stop the episode, I might have to sync ships with my other account. Uh, but, you know, if I can get help from one of these people... Yeah, I'm gonna have to just pause the episode here. Anyway guys, just gonna pause it here and uh, pick up when I, when I, fix, when I finish syncing the, the ships. Uh, that's pretty much it. Peace. All right, so we're back at Sandipolo Dock, and then we'll talk to this guy over here, Hector Vargo, and I think it's a level of sap. We'll see. Here is my sugar. You have saved the cake. The ferry must save the wedding too. Don Gutierrez needs you. Can you help him as you helped me? Okay. Well, maybe not. Wish it was that easy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Where is he? Where is he? Did he not show up? Okay, there he is. I don't know what to do. The banditos ruined my daughter's wedding. Youngster, I reckon there's a thing or two you're ready to learn. Oh yeah, Stop we're level 20. Oh yeah, time for some PvP. Yeah. Our troubles have no end. 
Ruining my daughter's wedding was not enough. The banditos took her captive. Will you help? The last of the banditos are hiding in the cantina. Deal with them and take back Serena, my daughter. That had to have been the first video I've ever recorded in under two minutes. Alright guys, well when I get back, shush, shush, I'll get back to that, okay? Calm yourself. Alright, well when I get back guys, we will be continuing on the quest line, as always, but we're level 20, and we gotta stop and do some awesome PvP, I'm so excited. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for this episode, I will see you in another, and peace out for now.